Hello YouTubers. Uh, well, before I start on my Photoshop tutorial, I'd like to thank you all very much for the uh, all the uh, suggestions you made about the uses of the sweet potato, something I knew nothing about, and I will certainly try some of those recipes. And underneath that, um, there in the supermarket, there were some things which I think are called squashes, and another vegetable that I know absolutely nothing about, so next time I'm down there I'll buy one of those and um, and uh, see what I can do with those but on with the on with the tutorial I know not many people are interested in these but uh, they're fun for me to do so I like doing them and uh, I'll see you again with something different next time so goodbye I'm sure that most of us these days with uh, smartphones and pocket digital cameras uh, most of us just take what I call snapshots without any consideration probably to the uh, uh, to the lighting and the focus and uh, all sorts of things but uh, fortunately uh, Photoshop uh, can uh, put uh, many of these things uh, many of these things right and um, so um, that's what I'm going to do with this rather nice photograph. It's uh, obviously a group of young people hanging out in their square underneath, on a plinth underneath uh, what seems to be a very large sculpture and a very interesting picture in the background. So what we will do first, as, uh, as uh, always, is to uh, make a copy of the background so that anything we do that we don't like, we can uh, revert to the original again. So on the right hand side of this screen, you'll see that we're now working on layer one. So we must always have that layer highlighted. So everything we do is, uh, is on that layer. And what I'm going to do is is just to sort of fade the background out of focus so that we can concentrate more onto the subject matter that the uh, photographer wanted us to. So to do that, we go to our toolbox and we select a lasso tool. And then by holding the mouse down or your finger on the pad, we start at a point which will be there right up to the top across to the other side and down and then roughly on the same level as we started we then go round and uh, select very loosely and quickly in this case I'll explain why in a moment um, the figures that we want to be the main subject of our photograph and when we return to the beginning we will see that there are these marching ants that are going around um, and the reason we're doing it uh, uh, fairly loosely is that I'm going to um, I'm going to feather that uh, that selection so that there are no hard edges and in this case um, uh, one moment uh, select feather and we're going to decide how many pixels we're going to feather it by well I know that this picture hasn't got a very high resolution it's only about 550 uh, 550 by 330 or something so I've decided to def feather it just by five pixels if you had a picture that had much larger resolution with many more pixels then you could feather it with uh, uh, a larger number of pixels but uh, that's okay for us at the moment and then Anything you do now will only happen within the selected area. So I'm going to go to Filter and Blur and I'm going to choose Gaussian Blur. And then this box will come up. If you click on the box, you will see how it was and then releasing it and you can move around the picture to see how the blur has affected. Well. We've only got a radius of 5.2 pixels. We can change that. Um, I think we want to leave just enough sort of uh, detail in so that we know it is a building and not just a plain blank brown mess. So 
in this case at 3.4 pixels I'll say OK and then to get rid of the marching ants then we hold Command or Control D and um, that becomes our finished picture. So if we go to our layers palette and click off the original picture and then click it back on again you'll see the difference and so I hope that helps and I hope you can play about with various sort of types of blur that you can apply to uh, to pictures and um, motion blur and all sorts of wonderful things so uh, um, I hope that helps and um, that you enjoy so uh, goodbye <laughs>